What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Lace Up channel. Today I wanted to try a little bit different and talk about hardware. I'm going to talk about all the hardware that's been used in DSD from 1999 all the way to today. I'm going to give you options, pricing, durability, pros, cons, and hopefully you'll be able to make the very best decision when it comes to purchasing your DSD hardware. So let's get right into it. Uh, Let's say from 1999 to about 2010, most DSD distributors bought Windows. Now, Windows had a monopoly on the DSD market for hardware. They sold the best hardware that was the most reliable, used by the most companies. Here is an example of one of those Windows handhelds. I have this here in the office. We've had it for a bunch of years, but this is kind of the style that most DSD distributors used to use. Look at the size of this thing. Look at this thing. It's huge. Look at that. These things were anywhere from $900 to $1,500 back in the day, and they used to run AFS ROS DSD software. They used to run LaceUp even. LaceUp used to support this. Uh, so these lasted, again, from 1999 until about 2010, okay? Now, around 2010, these became kind of obsolete because the market released something called the iPhone, okay? The iPhone was about, it was actually around 2008, 2007, 2008, but then it really evolved towards 2010. And then once Android came out, that completely took over the market. So let's say from 2010 to about 2015, here is what distributors are using, okay? Here's a Samsung S5. A lot of distributors that we know use the S3, S4, S5. They get something like this for 150 bucks. This is way faster than this. Now you may ask yourself, hey, can I just like throw this on the floor and break it? Like, won't it just break? The answer is yes, duh, with this, without a case it'll break. But if you put a case on it, it's just as bulletproof as this thing, okay? So imagine this, again, early 2010s through about 2015 was the only option. All the while, Zebra was developing a handheld which would be kind of a hybrid between this and this, kind of something fused. People still had a need for something a little more heavy duty than this with a built-in scanner. Notice how this doesn't have a scanner, okay? So Zebra came out with this guy. This is a TC25. Now this is like the second generation of this type of handheld. The first generation is a TC55 and TC75 from Zebra. Um, those were like 800, 900 bucks. This thing, five or 600, look at it. Look how sleek that is. This is what most of our DSD distributors are using. This thing has the fast versatility of the Android, but it has the durability of the Windows handheld. Now, a lot of companies still have this thing. Most of them that have this update to this guy, okay? And then most of them that are more cost conscious, they go for this, just a regular old Android device. Now there's another group that's super cost conscious. They go for a Samsung tablet. This is a Samsung tab tablet, Galaxy Tab E Lite, I believe. 80 to 110 bucks is what this thing costs. These are great too. Remember, all you need is a real heavy duty case on these things. These are much faster than these old school $1,500 Windows handhelds, but they're much cheaper and much more cost effective. And they're easy to replace in the event that you break them. Again, 120 bucks or 100 bucks if you break this thing, no big deal, you can get a new one, 15, 1600 bucks. So now where's the industry kind of going with this hardware? The problem is that this hardware is getting to the point where this stuff's obsolete and it's not gonna be made anymore. Even this hardware is hard to justify to some customers because even though it's nice and easy to use and, and it's got a built-in scanner and everything, why would you buy this for 700 bucks when I could get one of these, stick a socket scanner like this on the back of it and have it work almost as good. So assuming you have, let's say 20 delivery routes, this is gonna cost you about 400 bucks. This is gonna cost you 600, 650, depending on the model you get. So that's $250 per delivery route, or like five grand more to get these things, where really there isn't that much more of a benefit. Again, they're durable. They got the built-in scanner, so you only need to charge one device, but they're way more expensive. So most of our customers, are you settling for either Samsung S3, S4, S5, S6, like this, or Samsung Galaxy Tablet, like this, okay? 
Now, if y'all have any more questions on this hardware, please feel free to reach us in the comments down below. I'll get back to you myself, give you my full feedback. Uh, if you wanna see more videos or more informative content like this for the DSD industry, uh, hit the subscribe button down below, hit us with a comment. We look forward to seeing you next video. Take care.